So ladies and gents, welcome back to another video. I know, I know, you're thinking, what the hell, a midweek video. And that's true, it is, it's Tuesday. And I think it's the, I'm not sure what the date is, but anyway, it's Tuesday, I'm a couple of weeks behind. Well, you're probably wondering why the hell I'm uploading midweek. Well, today, I'm in this beautiful little spot. I'm not gonna give the location away because you'll have to stay tuned for Sunday's video to see that, but today, we're not here to talk about adventure. We're here to see what the hype is with this, the EcoFlow River 2. So without further ado, let's get stuck in. So this is it then, folks. This is the EcoFlow River 2. Uh, EcoFlow were kind enough to contact me a couple of months ago, I think. Uh, anyway, we've got the River 2 here now. Um, I'm just going to give you some rundown and some specs quick on what this power pack actually has the features that it has and then you can maybe if you're in the market for one you can maybe do your homework against other power stations but this is the baby one so this is the 256 watt hour power station from EcoFlow it is only the Baba range that they do but it certainly packs a lot of punch for what it actually is so just to give you a bit of a rundown of what it actually has so it has got your standard uk three pin plug here with your ac on off button it also has two usb ports and it also has as well a type c that can be input or output and it also has as well your standard cigarette lighter port as well so just to show you around the back of it then, so they've got this lovely little grab handle here, which means it's easy to carry, which means it's portable. And if you're going anywhere where you've got to walk a short distance, it's not heavy at all. Look, I can lift it with my thumb. It's not that heavy whatsoever. But on the back here, let's get it, let's get it stood up on end. But on the back here, you can see that we've got your standard three pin connector, um, which is basically a kettle lead. And the opposing side here, we've got actually got your charge port here for your solar panels to go in. You've also got the sticker along here, which gives you all the specs, which basically comes within the book too. But yeah, this really does pack a lot of punch, especially with the features that it has. So you've got a nice little digital display here, which gives you how many hours you can get from this. We've also got the actual battery life as well. So I did give this a good charge before I left. And also as well, it tells you output, which obviously when you've got devices connected, it'll tell you your output. And then obviously it's got input as well. So whether you're charging from your house, your in-car charger, or even the solar panels, it'll always flag up on there. So what comes with the kit then? So what I got with the kit was your normal household charger with your three pin kettle lead. It also come with your 12 volt in-car charger as well. Didn't get any solar panels, but I'm hoping EcoFlow will be kind enough to send me some in the future. But for the time being, I'm quite happy just charging it from home and this will be great for a single overnighter for me. I'm going to give you some info now on how quick this little thing is at charging up. I know it's only a 256 watt hour, but from zero to 100%, you can charge this little beast in one hour. That's one hour and that is fully charged from zero percent. There's not many power stations that will do that. EcoFlow have certainly put the technology and the research in to basically ensure that you guys have got a quick charged unit. And as I mentioned earlier as well, you can actually, when we looked at the type C connector, it is actually an input and an output. And what EcoFlow are stating is if you're charging from the type C, it's gonna charge up in five hours. So with the kettle lead, it's gonna be one hour. From the type C, it's gonna be five hours. I did also mention as well, it comes with an in-car charger and the in-car charger EcoFlow are stating it will charge up in three hours. So if you're going on a journey and you know that your EcoFlow is at zero percent and you've got a two and a half, three hour drive, you know that your power station is going to be pretty much charged up by the time that you get to destination. And just to give you some more information on it, the weight of this comes in at around 7.8 pounds. What that is in kilograms, I'm not sure but I'll drop it down on the screen now so you can see how it is. Basically, it's that light. I can lift it with my little finger. <laughs> That's nuts. So the unit itself also has Wi-Fi and Bluetooth uh, connectivity. So what I'll do now is I'll put on screen, um, oh, I'm gonna adjust the camera. I'll put on screen over here now what I'm seeing. 
So what I can see on the screen is AC, solar, and USB-C as well. As it, it also tells you as well the available time that you've got. So what it's going to do is when you've got appliances plugged into the EcoFlow, it's going to tell you how much wattage is going through your AC. It's also going to be telling you how much your solar is taking in too, if you have solar with it. But also as well, it'll tell you the wattage coming from the Type-C connection as well. Another thing I just want to show you as well in the settings bit, um, the best part of it is this. You can see it's highlighted mid-screen and it's called X-Boost. Now X-Boost is an absolute monster. So considering this unit is only 256 watt hours, the X-Boost function will take the unit up to 600 watts. So you can use appliances that are just below 600 watts from this small little unit. Although it might take the runtime down a little bit quicker, it's still going to give you that option to power big wattage appliances. So the normal wattage that you can use with this power station if you didn't have the X-Boost mode on is 300 watts. Always ensure as well, if you are using something between 300 and 600 watts, make sure you go into the app and you turn on X-Boost. So the EcoFlow app is available on Google Play Store. It's also available on Apple iPhone as well, iOS as they call it. All you do is download the app. There are instructions as well within the quick reference guide to show you how to set it up. It's just took me a while, and I think the reason it's took me a while is for the Bluetooth to actually connect for the first time to the EcoFlow. But it's a great little function. You can keep an eye on if you're away, if your EcoFlow is in the camper van in the summer, if I'm sat outside with the lads chatting, and I want to see what the actual figures are for the EcoFlow and how long I've got left, I can dial in on the app, it'll connect to it, and I can see it from my phone or wherever I am. So despite this being a sponsored ad, I'm not telling you to go out and buy EcoFlow, I'm telling you to go and do your research, but certainly one company I would consider, along with the other top names that are out there, certainly check EcoFlow out. Their products, are really well built, they're of high quality, they're not your normal cheap tat that you'll get through the post. Certainly consider EcoFlow as an option if you're in the market for one, and certainly check out their website for all the different variations that they do. So the EcoFlow is probably one of the best portable power stations under one kilowatt. And to be honest, folks, I couldn't have timed that any better, actually. I've just had to stop because the GoPro battery has um, gone flat. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to stick it into my little um, charger. And we'll charge it up. Some goons just pulled up next to me. Yeah, hey, it's not a goon. He seems all right. So anyway, that's that in that. Let's have a look and see what wattage these are going to take. So if we take a closer look now, we can see that the EcoFlow is charging my GoPro, but it might take a while to come on the screen. Ah, there we go. So it just does take a little while just to um, register, but as you can see, we're drawing four watts. So a couple of other factors I'm gonna show you then is from the app now you'll see on the screen as well that you can actually turn the AC off. I'm gonna do that now and listen for the click. Yeah, which is great. And that's me controlling it from the app. Now I'm gonna turn it on, listen for the click. <laughs> that's great. And as you can see from the app as well, you can do it for the 12 volt DC cigarette lighter and you can also do it for your type C and your USB ports as well. It's also got as well a certification from Tuv Rhineland. If you're not sure who Tuv Ryland are, they are um, like an auditing company. We do have quite a bit to do with them at work as well. So they do our castrol service certification. Um, but yeah, certainly having a certification of approval for this unit also gives you that peace of mind too. Also built in within the system as well is an advanced BMS, which is the management system as well. The product as well has up to 10 years, which gives you over 3000 plus life cycles. EcoFlow as well are that convinced that their products are the best on the market. They're giving you guys as well a five-year warranty. And I don't think you get that with any other portable power station either. So as we're coming up to Christmas as well, 
Um, and we're very near into Christmas as well. EcoFlow are actually giving you guys a good discount on any of their products. You can save up to £450 as well. So I'm going to leave a load of links in the description. If you're in the market for a portable power station, make sure you check out EcoFlow. Make sure you do consider them as well. But main thing, as I say to you all, do your homework doing your homework as well we'll find out which one is best suited for your needs but i'm pretty sure ecoflow have a wide range of products that will suit your needs so ecoflow have priced this power station at a very competitive price if you take a look on the screen it's at 269 and i think that is an absolute bargain for what it is so that concludes the video of the ecoflow river 2 as mentioned before links in the description if you're in the market certainly go and check out ecoflow as well and guys, a midweek video has gone out. Thanks ever so much for watching, and I'll see you on another adventure.